hi air sign okay so i'm doing your video tonight because i found out that i'm going to be traveling tomorrow like out of the blue <laughs> very excited you got to expect the unexpected when your rain is around okay so i'm very excited about that so i want to get your video done this is going to be for may 31st 2018 gemini libra and aquarius and i wanted to say this to you guys whoever is um looking to practice tarot or do tarot cards there are no rules you can do whatever you want to there's no right or wrong way to read cards however you connect with the tarot is how you connect with the tarot don't let, don't let anyone tell you that there's a right or wrong way because there's not there's no fucking rules at all the only rules is there is no rules make up your own fucking rules all right you can't you can't be like you can't have morality and magic they, like morality and magic don't mix there is no right or wrong way to do anything okay whatever you connect with is what you connect with all right morality is your sense of right and wrong all right so as long as you're moral when you do this you're not going to do it right because you're going to care too much about people what people think what people say fuck all that do you stay in your lane create your own lane shit don't look the part. Change the way the part looks, all right? So let's get it popping for my air sign, May 31st. May is over with. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. This is such a long month, you guys. I'm so ready for this to be over with. I can't wait to just, like, ride and, like, look out the window and be like, ah, you know, just take a break. I'm still going to be doing readings, though, because y'all know this is what I do. I love this shit. So even when I'm riding along, okay, I'm still going to be doing readings, all right? So, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, let's see what's popping for you guys for today. All right. Let's see. Oh, okay, right. If you guys want to hit me up on Instant Go, um, I had to change my prices, but I do have a promo code for you guys so you guys can get five bucks off. I'm going to leave that in the description box. I forgot to put that in the water sign video. I'll just put it in the description box. My bad. All right, let's see what's popping. Maybe I'll just make a separate video for all that shit. All right. Okay. <laughs> let's see. Last shuffle. Okay, let's go. Okay. All right. So you have the energy of the tower. Oh, my God. What did I just say? Expect the unexpected. Okay, air sign. So something's going to happen today. Something drastic. Something unexpected. We do have Uranus and Taurus. So what is Taurus? Taurus is our second house. The second house is my possessions, my money, my bank account, myself, my sex, my children, anything that belongs to you, anything that you possess is your second house. So we do have Uranus and Taurus. So this could be an unexpected windfall of money. Okay. Maybe you're getting, maybe you're moving home. Homes, an unexpected change in your circumstance or situation, but this, this can also be a shift in your spirituality, a shift in your energy, but something, une expect the unexpected, period, dot, okay? Just, that's what the tower is, expect the unexpected, okay? You have the energy of the two of swords. Maybe this is an unexpected decision that you have to make, but the two of swords is also, too, a very painful decision, okay? Like you see here, she, we have the moon card, okay? We have the moon. She's sitting under the moon thinking. Maybe right now you're doing some moon magic because we have the full moon in Sagittarius. Maybe you're writing some intentions down, letting some things go. Because you see, she's kind of like, she's not sad, but she's not happy. She's just kind of like, mm, you know, just kind of thinking, pondering, contemplating, okay? Maybe you have to let something go. Maybe a lover or a situation, a friend, a family member. But this is a very painful decision that you have to make here, okay? Full moon in Sagittarius. Maybe you're thinking about your career, all right? Maybe you have to choose career. Maybe you have to choose between uh, two different places to live, two jobs. But something expected is going to happen. I feel like it's going to require you to make a painful decision here, okay? All right, air sign. So just, just expect the unexpected today and expect expect to make a decision, okay? And I know a lot of times you guys can be indecisive, but it's, you have to make a decision here. Something very, very painful. The two of swords to me is always making a decision between two people you love. Because why else would it hurt, right? If you didn't love these two people or hate these two people, all right? So let's see what's up. You have the energy of the fool. Okay, so the fool, look at this. <laughs> look at the, I love this fool card in this deck. We have the sun here, okay? And, and we have, with these ripple effects, I feel like there's going to be like three things. Like three is your sign, okay? So with the fool card, the fool is like 50-50, okay? If you, if you go off the cliff, are you going to live or are you going to die? You don't know. you got to make a decision here. You have two major arcanas here, two very spiritual cards as well. So I feel like this too, you have to make a decision. You have to take a leap of faith. You might not have all the answers here, but I feel like with the tower here, you're not going to really have a choice. You have to make a split-second decision, all right? And you have to like, you're like, damn, am I, I going to sink or swim? You got to make a decision. You never know. You got to take a leap of faith here. Have some balls. Put yourself out there, all right? And we have the overall energy as the eight of pentacles. Okay, so this could be work-related. Maybe you have to choose between two jobs, two careers, 
Okay, maybe you love like you love you really love your job, but you have to leave or something like that. Under that, we have the chariot. Okay, so maybe you're moving. This could this, this is cancer energy here. Maybe you're dealing with a cancer. Maybe you're maybe this maybe I feel like maybe this cancer individual might might, might ask you something drastic out of the blue. You have to make a, a split second decision here. All right, but pro progress. Maybe you're getting a new car as well. Maybe you're making a decision between two cars. Like, that's not a, a painful decision, but you know how air signs are. Y'all are so extra. But, um, yeah, I feel like there's going to be something that happens very drastic today. You have to make a decision. Very, very tough decision here. And you're going to have to put yourself out there. Take a leap of faith. You may not want to, but I feel like with the full car here, this, this is like... This is the universe. It's kind of like you're going to be pushed to do it. You're going to be forced off the cliff here, okay? All right. But with the Eight of Pentacles here, you're really focused on your money. This is like this is like a money tree. Like she is focused on her coins right here. Focused, all right? Focused on her money, on her career, all right? Working hard, focused, putting a lot of effort in here, okay? Maybe somebody wants to put effort into a situation. You're like, oh, I don't know. Maybe, all right? It's up to you, air sign, all right? But expect the unexpected. I feel like there's something going to be in your second house too. Wherever, wherever Taurus is, wherever Taurus is in your chart, expect the unexpected in that area of your life. Okay. So if if you have Taurus in your seventh house, that's the um the seventh house is our relationships. Okay, that's Libra. So expect the unexpected in your relationships. Wherever Taurus is in your chart, expect the unexpected. Just saying. All right. Let's see. Let's see what's popping with this tower here. The tower is not always bad, though. It can be something good unexpectedly. It's not always a bad thing. So don't, 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 don't get it twisted. All right. And with this, with this crown here, maybe somebody unexpectedly wants to make you their king or queen, wants to marry you. Could be anything. Who knows? Okay. I love, I love surprises, though. <laughs> Even when they're bad, it's like, fuck it. Every surprise is a chance to learn, learning experience. Right? Okay, let's see what's popping air sign. Okay, so with the tower, you have the nine of swords in the reverse. So my thing is you're nonchalant about this air sign. It's not worrying you. You don't feel stressed out. You don't feel worried. You don't feel anxious. It's like, I feel like maybe somebody warned you about this. Maybe you maybe you're already expecting the unexpected. You're like, you know what? Something something drastic is gonna happen to me. Maybe you're already expecting it, so it's not gonna be as drastic. But with the nine of swords in reverse, it's like you're nonchalant, you're good. You might have a hard time making a decision, but whatever happens, it's like you're prepared for it. You're like, you know what, I'm good. I got this, all right? It's not really phasing you like that. Like you're not anxious about it. It's like, okay, something so I, I feel like it's something good, all right? Maybe you have to make a decision between two really good things and you don't know what to do, all right? It could be that. With the two of swords, we have the nine of rods here. Yeah, very free-spirited, ambitious, okay, go-getter, all right? This is also sexual energy, too. Um, I feel like maybe you're making a decision between two sexual partners being intimate with somebody, okay? This is also my Sagittarius. Maybe you're traveling. Maybe you're traveling with a Sagittarius, okay? You're going to be intimate with this person. This is really good sex, too. Fires, not fire signs, but fire energy, okay? It's a uh, passion, Okay, but this is you. You're a free spirit. Okay, you're a free bird. All right. Maybe you um, maybe you're newly single here. We have the uh, Knight of Rods with the Fool. Maybe you're newly single, single and single and ready to mingle. Okay, getting some goodies. All right. <laughs> but I feel like you're gonna be traveling today. It could be unexpected travel, like me, my situation here. But I feel like too, maybe this Sagittarius or this fire sign unexpectedly comes back into your life. Okay, because we have Aries energy here as well. I'm getting an air sign too. I'm also getting um earth energy too. Gemini, I'm not Gemini, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. I feel like somebody's gonna unexpectedly come back in your life. Somebody that's in and out though. So if you're okay with that, then that's that it is what it is. Or maybe it might be you. Maybe you're maybe you're the one that's in and out, air sign. Okay, you just you friends with benefits, you just want to get some yum yum and be on your way. Okay, you're a free spirit, you're a free bird. All right, you don't want no, you're non committal, you don't want to commit, you want to be single for right now. That could be it as well. Um, but with the full card, we have the magician in the reverse here. So I feel like you're okay, so you're gonna take a leap of faith, but you feel like it's not gonna work out. Why? Let's get some more clarifiers. Why, air sign? Why? All up in your head about something. Let's see what this magician in reverse is. Could be dealing with an Aries person uh, directly. Okay, so you have the Queen of Swords here. 
So maybe you and this Aries is not getting along. Maybe you take a leap of faith. Maybe you take a leap of faith and talk to this person. Okay, maybe they don't respond to you. Or like maybe you feel like, okay, if I take a leap of faith with this person or with this fire sign, it's not going to work out. Because the, the queen of swords in reverse is like a bitch. Okay, no logic, no reasoning. Okay, someone who's very bitter, someone who's scorned, someone who's very argumentative, you can't get a word in edgewise, all right? So I feel like there's going to be, there, there could be some communication here, some like brass communication between you and this person. Or maybe you maybe you feel like if you talk to this person, it's going to be an argument, all right? This person is not capable of reasoning, okay, or logic. This person is going to be arguing with you. Or maybe you feel like if you take a leap of faith with this person, they're going to be, they're like, they're bitter. They're still scorned about something that happened in the past, all right? This person is like bitter, a bitch, someone you can't reason with, someone you can't really talk to because they have no, they have no logical mind, no common sense. Like, so maybe you feel like if you take a leap of faith, this could be with a job too. Somebody that you're working with. All right. Maybe you want to like, damn, should I quit my job? Should I stay at my job? Because this, this fucking bitch right here, I can't stand this person or whatever. But I feel like this is between like a fire sign and air sign. You can, it could be even an earth sign. Maybe you're getting a lot of attention. This could be a number of things, but I feel like whatever the case may be, you, you, you're you feeling kind of nervous about taking a leap of faith here. Maybe you feel like somebody's being dishonest with you, not keeping it 100, or someone's going to be bitter about it. If you take a leap of faith with them, they're going to be bitter, like somebody's tricking you, all right? Let's see what your guidance is for today. But whatever the case may be, this thing that's going to happen unexpectedly, you're nonchalant. You're good. You're like, you know what? I got this. It's nothing. So I feel like shit always happens to you unexpectedly, air sign. You always got some shit that happened that you ain't expecting. So you just expect that shit now. For real. But I say with the Knight of Rods here, have fun. Like, the Knight of Rods is a free bird. Ambitious, fun, enthusiastic, fun to be with, funny, okay? Also, two Sagittarius, they don't bite their tongue. They are, they are brutally honest. They keep it 100. So I feel like if somebody's coming at you, like if somebody tries to come at you on some bullshit, keep it 100 with them. But this might, I feel like this turns somebody on. Like, I feel like when you're bitchy, somebody gets turned on by that. I don't know, for some of y'all. That's whoever, whoever you're dealing with, somebody gets turned on by you being bitchy or you dogging them, I guess. Like, somebody likes to be checked. Like, it turns somebody on sexually. Whoever y'all dealing with, weird. Could be a sad, it's like some sad shit. It says, medicine woman. It says, you are a channel for divine healing power. Hmm, whatever that means, which maybe you are, okay? Maybe you work with medicine. Maybe you're working with a hospital. Or right, maybe you're some type of healer or spiritual healer or something like that. But I feel like this is saying, like, don't worry about it. Like, follow your guides. Follow your intuition. Follow the signs, okay? You know what you're doing, air sign. You know what you're doing. Take a leap of faith. Let's see what your lesson is for today. But I feel like, too, <laughs> with this Medicine Woman card, I feel like, um, okay, let me tell you what I'm hearing here about this um, air sign. I feel like to someone, you are their medicine. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, maybe you heal with your sex. Like, when you have sex with someone, you heal them. Maybe someone's addicted to your sex here. Because with the Medicine Woman, it's like, like, you are medicine to them. Like, you're like their Advil. Like, you heal them with that yum-yum or something or with the D or something like that. But I feel like, because with this, Sagitt this King of Rods is sex. It's, it's the sex card, okay? Me to me. It's my sex card, okay? So I feel like you are, like, this person's medicine. Like, you heal them with, with, with whatever you do, okay? Behind closed doors. It's healing, all right? And I feel like also, too, you're dealing with someone who's kind of sadistic. Someone who gets turned on by you being very assertive, being even bitchy, all right? That's that Taurus energy, Uranus and Taurus, that possession that somebody likes to be possessed, somebody likes to be checked, put in their place, it turns them on, all right? <laughs> Whatever, like, that's, that's y'all life, okay? It says, observe your attitude. It says, determine whether you spend most of your energy in a positive or negative frame of mind. Do you have to remind yourself to be positive or are you naturally that way? Your goal to become mindful of whether you are unconsciously positive or negative. Yeah, I feel like air sign. If somebody asks you something today, like try not to be so bitchy. Don't be so bitter, so scorned or whatever this other person. But I feel like remain positive. And I feel like with this card right here, you are like, you're like, you know what? I got this. I'm a free spirit. Let's go. Blah, blah, blah. But I feel like this have, there has to be a decision that has to be made here as well. A very painful decision. Maybe you have to drop someone or cut somebody off. All right. But I feel like whatever the case may be, remain positive because something unexpected is happening and it's not stressful. All right. 
but I feel like the decision you have to make is stressful. This could be between, this could be like two jobs or it's like a money decision or something like that. But you have the chariot behind that. So maybe you're choosing between a cancer and an air, a cancer and an Aries, a cancer and a Sagittarius, maybe a cancer and another air sign here or an earth sign, okay? But I feel like you have to make a decision between two people and that's, and that's gonna be the painful part there, all right? So I hope this helps you, air sign. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.